July 2001, ExxonMobil awards the fabrication of the Kazomba A TLP service wellhead platform to the joint venture ABB Lamas Global and Hirama Sveindrecht. The Hirama Group was to be closely involved in the platform's fabrication, integration, transportation and installation. Fabrication of the two top sides, the north and south modules, started early June 2002 in the covered number one production hall of Hirama Sveindrecht. Much of the work would thus be weather independent. The top sides were fabricated in two equal parts of 40 by 80 meters, each weighed in at around 6,000 tons. Human ingenuity and computer technology create best possible results. Work on the modules intensifies by the day. The schedule for delivery to the hull is tight. The south module takes shape. A huge list of components and equipment for the lower production deck need to be installed prior to the installation of the drill deck. Many of these have been procured from suppliers on the other side of the world. Strict planning and expediting combine with operational flexibility to get everything installed in the right order. The work includes temporary facilities for the integration phase to follow. After nine months of fabrication, the topsides modules are ready to leave the production hall to the integration location in Rotterdam. 240 axle multi-wheel trailers delicately carry the north and south modules to the cargo barges at Hirama Fabrications Key. Deballasting the cargo barge anticipates the load of the module. The Hirama Fabrication Group has four fabrication sites, two in the Netherlands, one in England and one in Norway, of a total site area of some 550,000 square meters, almost 100,000 are roofed. A lot of experience goes into the work here. On sail away, almost one million man-hours have been invested in the fabrication of the two giant modules. 8,600 tons of steel, 180 kilometers of heavy cable and 23 kilometers of piping are safely in their allotted place as the two modules leave Zweindrecht for Rotterdam. It was a challenging fabrication deadline, but for the Kazomba A project, the challenge continues at the company's temporary integration yard on the Kalland Canal. The hull of the TLP is fabricated in South Korea and leaves on the 17th of December 2002 on board the trans shelf of Dockwise Shipping for its 11,000 mile journey to Rotterdam. 42 days later, on the 27th of January, it reaches Rotterdam. Hours after arrival, she starts ballasting and in the late afternoon, tugs take the hull to the mooring on the Callan Canal, where it will be prepared for topside installation. The module convoy has to pass under two bridges on its way to the installation location. There is but two meters clearance. Early morning on the 1st of March, the north module is lifted off its cargo barge by the heavy lift vessel Tialf in a dual crane lift. The Tialf is the largest deep water construction vessel in a fleet of three operated by Hirama Marine Contractors. The south module is then placed on the hull after this has been turned 180 degrees. Dockwise Shipping's Swift next delivers the drilling package and living quarters from the USA to Rotterdam. This is installed next. The drill tower was first to be accommodated on the spacious deck of the TLF before installing on the TLP. The drilling support module is lifted directly onto the TLP, then the drilling tower, living quarters and platform cranes follow. Day and night lifting and installing continue. All 24 hours of all days have to be used. Hirama Sveindrecht has prepared a fully self-contained temporary integration yard here. After positioning all working modules on the hull, a five-month integration period starts with the critical goal of a 100% complete and commissioned TLP ready for shipment to Angola. 
an average of 800 people, seven days per week, 24 hours a day, weld and grind, check and complete, fit and measure, pull and terminate cables, test and commission components, and all with an eye to quality, the environment, and the deadline. Again, almost one million man-hours are needed to connect all the different modules with steel, piping, and cables, and deliver a fully commissioned TLP. Unaware of the workforce, regular safety drills are conducted in cooperation with local authorities to optimize safety awareness and enhance readiness for any kind of situation. With integration complete, the TLP is prepared for sea transport on the Mighty Servant 1. Tugboats tow the TLP to the already submerged Mighty Servant some miles away. The total weight to be transported to Angola is now 31,000 tons. The Mighty Servant 1, now the second largest in a fleet of 16 vessels of dockwise shipping, can carry offshore structures up to 40,000 tons on her 150 by 50 meter cargo deck. A journey of just over 5,000 miles will bring the Mighty Servant 1 to Angola in 18 days. Here, the T-Elf is already busy stabbing tendon strings. The tendon sections are dual crane lifted and upended from the DCV, after which they are hung off in the tendon assembly frame and attached to the string. The connection between the tendon sections uses the standard oil state spin box connector. In total, eight tendon strings must be produced, with a total length of almost 1,200 meters each. The tendon string is completed with a tendon top section. On this, a threaded adjustment joint is fitted, to which the TLP will be connected later. After each tendon assembly, it is attached to a tendency buoyancy module installed on an outrigger frame on the TLF side shell. Each completed tendon string, including buoyancy module, is then lifted from the DCV and installed in the pile head 1,200 meters below the surface. Directed by the superintendent in charge of the stabbing operation, the ship is moved above the foundation pile. The crane operator slowly lowers the tendon string into the receptacle of the docking cone and the connection is made. Six thrusters keep the DCV accurately in position against the influence of wind, current and swell. Okay, we are locked. Continue down on the red line. Safety on board is a key policy of Hirama Marine Contractors. Respect for the people with whom and for whom the company works just goes without saying. The Mighty Servant 1 now arrives and immediately starts ballasting to free her cargo. Connections between the TLP and the tugboats are made. Local people are impressed witnesses to this unusual event. With a maximum draft of 22 meters at bow and 26 meters at stern, the TLP is floated off. The towing connection is made and the TLP is on its way to its destination, the Kizomba A field. Once the TLP arrives in the field, it is positioned relative to the tendons, after which connection will take place. The TLP is located using the so-called tug management system and kept in position with global positioning. Two constant tension winches are installed at each corner of the TLP on the temporary stability modules. A wire with a so-called ball grab is lowered through the tendon porch which is connected to the tendon top. The ROV assists in guiding the ball grab into the tendon top connector. The now connected wires to the tendon tops, two on each corner, eight in total, guide the tendon tops into the porches, while the TLP is brought down by controlled ballasting. The TLP mating with the tendons is one of the critical phases in the installation process. Once the tendon tops have sufficient length through the porches, the connection between the TLP and the tendons can be established. The installation draft of the TLP is now 34 meters. We started at a draft of only 10 meters. Timing of the locking operation is essential. Paul, you can lock the grippers now. 
Upon locking on final lock-off draft, the TLP is deballasted and the tendons tensioned automatically, thus making this floating structure into an effectively fixed structure. All stop, mission complete. Time for acceptance. All parties involved sign the stage completion certificate. Although the TLP is now safely installed, a lot more work has to be done. This includes removal of the tendon buoyancy modules and the temporary stability modules. 